Good morning. So today um, I want to get back into Snippet Pixie Dev. It's been at least a week now. Um, the temperatures here have been so hot um, that I haven't been able to record because I've needed to keep my door and window open at the same time to get any kind of draft and stuff. But it's cooled down quite considerably now. So I can close the doors and keep things a little bit quieter uh, for recording. Um, I live on the edge of a farm and there's often like uh, stuff going on outside and so on. So um, particularly peacocks making lots of noise. Anyway. Um, so, um, right, I've got um, the one to do I've got left is to investigate the flash of focus in normal mode. So this is when the GUI comes up for Snippet Pixie um, and it, um, for some reason, is flashing on, given the list of snippets act, active status and then goes into the search box. And so it's, it's a bit messy. But before I do that, um, Lee, the, uh, the developer of Wales, the Wales app GUI builder, um, sent me a note to say, don't forget, I can set the background color on the main window. Um, Cause he had obviously watched one of my videos and noticed that it was flashing white till it came up and stuff. So I'll, sh I'll, uh, I'll show you what that means, what's going on. Um, so he gave me a little tip. So if I do this, so if I start up, the app in Wales dev mode. Um, can't focus. There you go, look, it's a big flash of white there. Okay. Um, and then it obviously goes into um, the normal CSS based background color. So what I can do um, is set the background color for the window so it doesn't have that hide flash. Um, so let's do that. So we said, what well, I think it's in, it's just in the normal options for the window. Um, and I believe I can just do, um, let's do, actually I'll do it above. There you go, background color. Um, and then I gotta do something like RGB, I guess. Options RGB A. Okay. Um, and then, so that will be. All right, okay. I'm going to have to work out what that is. Uh, I've got a color picker somewhere. Uh, converter that'll do. Right, so I know that my background color is, let's do this, do this in the GUI so you can see it. I've got it in the CSS. There you go. So I think it's the same as the background, Nord Zero. Yeah, so it's that. I can never remember that. Should I should remember the hacks that I actually use it so often, but I don't. Okay, so let's stick that in there. There we go. So that's the right color. And that's the RGB. So let's grab that. And we'll stick that in there and then fix it up. That's R G B. Now I've got to do an A as well, which I presume is that going to be two five five then? 
Oh, it's, is it a percentage? No, oh, hold on. That's what I need to do. Hmm, okay, this might not be right then. Is it one? I might need to go look at the docks. Oh. <laughs> uh. It's a pointer. Right, so uh, I'm going to assume that that is... Like that. I'll give that a go. And then I might have to just go look at the docks. See what happens. It's better. Did give a bit of a flash there. Let's try it again. Maybe I've picked the wrong colour. I don't think so. Hmm. That looks like it's alpha, don't she? Maybe it's that way around. Let's try that. <laughs> nope. So I was right. Let's go look at the docks, just to make sure I'm picking the right thing here. Well, even, yeah, so it is, that's black, I presume. So... What does that say? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So. Why is it giving me it in that? In that case, can I? Can I do? Hmm, they're saying RGBA. So, right, just do a quick test with that. I just want to see something. I want to see if that makes any difference. No, it's not right. Yeah, tiny. So in theory, that brings it back, but it does seem to be lighter than I want. Still a bit of a flash there. It's 
So I wonder. Am I getting the right colour? If I do, no. yeah, so it's two five fives. Can I do RGBA here? Yeah, see, that's a different setup, though, isn't it? Start to get it. Interesting. I wonder, it doesn't do the same thing here, though, does it? It did say integer. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll leave it like that for a moment because it's better than it's way better than I had. But it is doing little bit of alpha there that I didn't expect. Or not the colour I expected. I take it there's no Just to make sure. I don't definitely expect RGBA. Okay. No, it's better than it was. But I'll have to investigate why that's lighter than I hoped. Can't think that I've got anything that might be affecting that. We will see. All right, so let's just commit that though. Okay, and now let's see about this. So let's um, oops, let's get that 
demoed up. So uh, right, if I bring up the um, daemon, so we actually have something to see the snippets with. What happens is when you see it. See that it went slightly greener, slightly lighter there before it then went to inactive. That's what I want to avoid. Something's going on there where it pops in here into the list um, and makes it active. So if I come out there, if I'm in the search box and I pop in, that's what we're getting. And then it pulls back. Pop in, pop out. I don't know why. So let's go find out. Uh, I don't know if this will. I'll stick this on the same workspace. And I'll reduce the size down, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it. So I'm making changes here. Um, so we're in the, this is the snippets list. Um, and for some reason it seems that this active is being set or well I'm not sure it is actually thinking about it Uh, maybe it's in the snippets list item. We're in here. Active will probably still be false. That should come in full, so don't get the active. And that's what's happening here. The background colour is saying it's got... Ah, no, that's focused though. List item, active, focus. and focused active list item focused and active that's that List item active. Mm. 
I think I need to trace that, uh, which is going to be interesting. Let's start from where active first comes in. Oh, I wonder. Tab index of zero. I wonder if it's accidentally, momentarily, getting focus and then blowing out later. Do that. Let's find out. Uh, see this should do this should actually um, put something in the debug lock right let's kill that and let's see what happens keep cursor out of the way It did it. Yeah, there you go. It did a non-focus. Right. I bet that's a tab index thing then. Okay. So, got to be careful about this. On the main screen, we then go into list snippets. All right, again, we've got tab index two for that, but it's not picking it up, is it? Oh. Hello. Let's make it an inch. Try again. D 
to do it again. Okay. Maybe it's the other way around actually, because we know that tab index should be a string on a component. Oh, and what about the fact that we might not have anything else at a higher level? I did have it at one. So the search input is set as one, and then it was two there. Where's the tab index? I mean, I might be going down a completely wrong. Maybe that's not set in. Make sure it's also an integer. Why is it doing white again? Hmm. That was better. Weird. Now, it's weird, actually, that I'm not seeing the flash of focus. Oh, I did do it, see it there, it's a bit slower. Something's going on there that is not picking up on that. Hmm. Okay, so maybe not that then. I'll keep that there though because it should be um, an integer, at least in the way I'm using the variables. Let's just double check what else I've got there for tab index. Whether that's good or not. Try it.
maybe I should be doing that. On all components. That would be interesting to see what happens there. So you have to explicitly set it. That could be catastrophic or good. We will find out in a minute. Okay. That could break things for the actual tapping order. Oh, it still does the flash. Tapping order is correct now, though. Focus works. I had, yeah, still doing that correctly. Is it? Hold on a second. No, it doesn't know how to get back to that. Okay, yeah, let's mess things up. Keep that though. Let's see what happens now. Still does it. It must be the items. Okay, right, let me just check that the add thing works again now. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, so that's back to working as it should. And that's correct as well. Okay. I haven't got tabbing in there yet. Sort that out. Okay. Why is it grabbing focus? For some reason. This is firing. Even though That. By default, focus search box is true, so focus snippets list will be false. 
That's the only other use of it there. In the main screen, I set focus search box. Ah, fairly late though. Because it's only done on the in on mount. Is that correct? Only default to true though. And that's defaulted to true. Okay, so for some reason, let's check a couple of things here. We are if I take this item. By default, active is false, and tab index is minus one, and focused is false. So everything's false by default. If I therefore Just break it for a minute and take those out so they never get set. So it's always false. Does it stop the pull of focus? Apparently not. Hmm. as if it's getting focused no matter what 
It's like when it's going through. That is very strange. Okay, let's try something. Uh, for starters, that should be like that. So how about... I bet we do like an init function as such and make sure everything's up and running and then we enable that on focus on blur as such um, mounted equals true I don't know if there's actually um, there isn't like something like that So start off, we're not mounted, and then here. We only do this. Keep that log message there. Just for completeness, we'll do that as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is when the component is actually finished initializing a, a such, of, it's been drawn, kind of, um, is therefore mounted. We are then, only then, able to deal with on focus and on blur otherwise there's nothing to do and the defaults that come in should take precedence so we will see okay now I've still got these disabled so an item should never be focused or active by default <laughs> still did it Why? Why is that unordered list getting focus? Because the autofocus, but I mean the autofocus is false.
Okay. Take it out. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's interesting. So that stops the flash in theory. And put obviously the bits back in. I should probably do that. I've now found the cause of the problem. Uh, so if I put these back. So an item can have focus and be and know that it's active. Yeah, no flash. Hmm. Okay. Gorilla, this out, okay. Might be. What I might need to do is not. Use the short form there, maybe just the presence of it is all it needs, and that's the issue. So I might be using it wrong, basically, all to focus. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double check that when this auto on focus fires. What is autofocus set to? In theory, it should be false. But let's find out. Did the flash and it is false. Hold on a second. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, it's okay. All right then. Let's try long form before I go up and make it a completely different thing and stop using autofocus. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like that. I think it's mere presence is an issue, but we'll see. Mm. Okay, I might have to find a different way of doing that then. Do I have a focus use? No, that's a select. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to switch back to using a um, action. So I'll take this as the basis and I'll just call it focus. Would it be daft to call it autofocus? No, let's call it autofocus so I know exactly what it's for. Um, and it's going to, yeah. Don't need the timeout stuff. I hope. We can come back and put it in if we need to. Let's see. Okay, so this is an action. And what happens is you can use it on a node um, and optionally passing params. I, I am, I'm passing in enabled here, which is a brilliant. Um, so I'm going to say if, if enabled, just focus the node and we'll see what happens here. So what I'm going to do is I'll start off by 
helps the list, doesn't it? So we'll get rid of that. So we're going to do use autofocus. And I think I can just do that. Is that right? I can't remember. I can't remember the... Um... Oh, I think I have to pass it in... Let's check. I've got um, got the select somewhere, so let's just crib from that. It's a while since I've done that. Oh no, it's there. It's the same. Yeah. So on the text input there, um, I'm doing a use select and doing autofocus because I have to I want I want to not only select get the focus, I also want to select it. And I found that I had to wait, uh, I had to do a timeout on that. Uh, we might have to do a timeout on this one as well, we'll see. Okay, so that should be okay. We'll see what happens there. I will leave that there for the moment, but I'm going to probably take it out. Okay, let's see what happens. Where well, went bang? Okay, did I not pull in? Oh yeah, <laughs> probably a good idea to import that bit of code. Uh, right, let's do it here. There I do. Uh, why did you take that out? Hmm. Oh, I was really not happy now. No, it's okay. okay. Let's try again. Just to make sure that's wrong. Yep. Where's the problem? Oh. Oh, of course. The clashing on names. Okay. Um... All right, let's just rename that because I'm not going to muck about with that. Generally, I'm using autofocus, aren't I? So let's just call this focus. This makes it easier. Uh, yes, do that. Yes. Uh, 
Okay, uh, and no. It did not do that right. Okay. Let's just rename it. And not to do that, thank you. Okay. A bit better. Right. So we're doing focus now. And I need to call that's done focus there already. That's good. And then let's make sure we've got it down here. Use focus, auto focus. Don't need the quotes anymore. I'm going to just take this out as well. I'm done with that. And then I'm going to take out the mounted things here. It's no longer used. I'll be taking that out in a minute. I just want to make sure. And I didn't want that. It should be tabbable by default. Uh, so autofocus false. Got a bit of log in there. I'm going to fix those two things up. Okay. Um, in the focus, we have just that. And then in list snippets, just placement of a exclamation mark. And then I'm just switching that to a integer and an integer. Okay, let's see what happens now. No flash. Yay. Okay. So the mere presence of autofocus is the issue. Okay. I'm pretty sure when I was reading up on autofocus many videos ago, it did warn you that it's kind of a bad thing. So let's find autofocus and replace it. So we want to do it there. So the list snippet screen. That's okay, that's an input. That's, that's just passing in a value. It's here. We've got to be careful. So the edit snippet screen, that's okay. Sort of. Uh, 
and then on input we are using that another select action so that's fine okay I think we're good let's give it another go I think we have slain it let's take out the to do now as well then we'll be ready to test focus snippets fine got rid of the debug there I'm gonna reformat okay that's better okay if I do an add does it still yep that's fine settings doesn't really have anything yet at some point I do need to make this so that I can tab through at the moment I can't it needs to be keyboard driven but we'll get there all right I think that's done let's just do a quick make on that And then we'll run the binary. Yeah. There we go, it's fine. okay um i think we're done we have slain the bug let's say dragon there okay Do a quick check. So we've got a new action. Switch those. That's just a little format. Switch those to integers. Using the focus. Semicolon added where needed. Use focus. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Well, okay, I think that's enough for today. Um, we have fixed a couple of things there. Uh, probably not going to be recording for a little while. Um, I've got a week off, and so my normal routine is a little bit different, going to be different. So, um, yeah, a bit sparse on videos at the moment. Um, but after I've had uh, a week or so off, 
I'll start recording again um, and then uh, we should start picking up on the sort of final stages of um, getting this new version uh, ready for release. Um, there's only a few things left to do. Um, we kind of need to just double check the GUI settings screen is okay. I might do an about screen, probably should. Um, and then it's a case of sort of more package related stuff here. I've got to decide what to do with um, because my ideas on you know how things auto starts and so on have changed and I wonder whether that should be like a um, package manager type thing to set up like a system D or to start for a user and all that kind of stuff. Not something I intend to think should be included in a package anymore. So, so in a in a um, an application, but we'll see. Um, I might put it back in. Um, it's definitely in the current version, so maybe. Uh, but then it's it is really just going through the motions of making sure that everything's working. Um, might re revisit the autocomplete um, and then uh, I know I'm probably going to have to do some tests on Wayland as well because I'm pretty sure that's not working at the moment um, so just bits and bobs lots of little different things yet to do um, but we will chip away at them um, and I'll probably just start add adding things to that list uh, as I think of them so uh, until next time, um, thank you very much for watching uh, and you take care.